Art Nerd. So while I was at Michael's recording that Michael's gift guide, which you guys can check out right here, I did actually pick up a few things. So the Jane Davenport section was having a 30% off sale, which is not great shakes, but I am weak. So I picked up some really cute holographic tape. This is probably going to go in my con stuff, but it might make for some really cute washi tape or foil tape illustrations. I picked up some more mermaid markers to go with my original set of mermaid markers because Jane Davenport has been releasing additional colors. So I picked up, they're not sold open set stock at Marshalls, but I did pick up some colors that are not available as you guys can see in my set. And I have a wonderful tutorial video on how to use these markers, not these markers, these markers, if you guys want to check that out. So I picked up, um, what is this? Sun bleached, which is a little bit weak of me because these look like they're pastels and you can very easily make pastels, but hopefully they are actually different colors and would be usable. I picked up two of the water brushes and then JD has released some inks. And here is the tricky thing. These don't say whether they're water-based or alcohol-based and I couldn't tell by the smell, which I know, I know is not smart. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up and see if ink, credible ink is water-based or, um, alcohol base. So I have, as you guys have seen me use before, Tattered Angels. These are water-based dye inks. I also have alcohol inks like this. So I'm not super sure what these are. And uh, usually my nose would tell me, but they have like this really weird scent. So I don't know. And I don't know if they're like supposed to be scented because there is no information about these things on the box. No actual useful information. And then the visit janedevenport.com for how to's. Like that's not a direct link to anything in particular. So before I end this video, before I say goodbye for the evening, I'm going to let you guys know whether these are diet or uh, waterproof or alcohol based. I mean, you know what I mean. Water based or alcohol based. Ah, it's been a long day. Um, I'm betting though they're water based and I'm betting they're meant to be used in conjunction with the mermaid markers because they were sold next to the mermaid markers and a lot of what she sells is like watercolor supplies or somewhat watercolor supplies or um, she's got like these pastels that look like makeup now which I just kind of eye roll super hard because they seem like they're a huge pain in the butt to use. And she's using foam dots to get these things to stay in. Except when I was in Michael's, one of the bottles like literally slipped right out of the package. So that one at, like, at least came out. So I picked up Limeade Tinsel Violet Syrup. What a name and blueberry just because they seem like colors I didn't have like a million of. So we're going to do a little bit of a demonstration. And I'm not going to swatch my original mermaid markers because you guys have seen those. So I had to switch cards and I forgot what I was doing, but I think I am swatching these sun bleached Wow, okay. Oh, it's got tiny little dot, whatever. I'm gonna have to put these in a better case anyway. <laughs> so there are these impossibly tiny little pieces of tape to hold this shut. Let's see if I can finagle that. And we get six colors and it was like 25 for these. And every single time I, I deal with mermaid marker stuff, I'm always in, very impressed and horrified by the price. And these are actually kind of different. She finally got, instead of having stickers, she finally got somebody to screen her name on them. So that's a thing. And they're pretty much the same size as the original mermaid markers. And they're the same body type. 
which is a very common um, sort of like water brush design. Let me grab my, do I have it here? No, I don't. Oh, I'm a hot mess. So I'm gonna get these started by giving them a few squeeze. Ooh, okay. Use discretion when you squeeze or you're gonna get a cap full. And I'm gonna do that with all of these. So we're going to do another one on camera and then I'll cut to spare you guys to get these started. You unscrew, you remove the yellow ring, you screw back on, and you gotta keep going because it's got a puncture. And then you give it a couple of good squeezes, not too hard like I do. And there's actually a breather tube in there to sort of help it get going. So I'm gonna do the other four. Look at this yellow one, I got a damaged one because I did the same thing I did with the other ones and it starts leaking all over. And then when I go to unscrew it, it has become one with this tube thing. And I'm pretty familiar with um, water brushes. So instead of going into the brush, it starts filling the threads and I can probably, and then leaking all over the place. I can probably fix this by um, putting some silicone grease. Well, I can fix the leakage by putting some silicone grease on it. But um, these were <laughs> these were brand new. You guys saw me open them, so I've already got one that's damaged. I'm gonna try doing something a little unusual. And I have a concert I'm going to tonight, so I really don't want my hands to be like covered in dye that might or might not wash off. So. Thanks a lot, Jane Davenport. All right, let's get to swatching. And these don't come with color names, at least on the package. Ooh, maybe I should have gone over to the sink and washed these out because they're full of stiffening agent. So looks like I've got my work cut out for me this evening. Mm, this yellow is gonna be the bane of me because it doesn't wanna work. and then it continuously leaks all over me. Awesome. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna wash the stiffening agent out of these. As you can see though, they are pre-mixed, basically pastels. There is probably a list of color names on her website. Oh, that's it. Okay, so that is what the colors in sun bleach look like. So this yellow is leaky as all get out and I can't even hold it without it leaking on me, which is kind of a big problem um, as you guys have seen. So I went and rinsed the, the stiffening agent, usually like gelatin out of all of my brushes. As you guys can, I don't know if I can get a good angle on it, unfortunately, but uh, just the fact that this is a leaky pin and has started leaking um, means I've lost a significant amount of ink, which isn't really a big deal because um, I could probably refill this from my diamine flower set because I have a yellow that's almost that color, but it's still kind of a waste of money and it's something you guys should keep in mind if you are buying these markers. So I tried a fountain pin people trick on it and I put some silicone grease on the threads and hopefully it's not going to fix the flow issues this marker has, but it might hopefully fix some of the leaking. We can hope, we can dream. It looks like probably not. I'm going to have to toss this marker, aren't I? That is such a shame. So let's take a look next at her water brushes, ink, they call these ink, she calls these ink brushes. Now I do have her water brushes also, ba -da -ba -ba, much smaller as you guys can see. So I guess, let's see, use with water or your ink credible ink. 
So that leads me to believe that these are water-based inks because you can't put, you can, you physically can put alcohol inks in a water brush. However, and I found this out because my friend Kabocha filled me in. Um, however, the alcohol will eat the nylon in the bristles and ruin them. Basically fuse them together, ruin them. So, I mean, you can, there's nothing stopping you, but it's gonna ruin your water brush and the amount of time you're gonna get out of it is probably pretty minimal. So I'm gonna swatch these ink credibles, which are probably just dye base inks. And then I'll decide which one of these, which two of these get the honor of being put into bottles. Or into, sorry, into water brushes. Wink -a -wink. And they all smell like perfume and it's really weird. Like it's a pervasive smell too. Ooh, oh, they are scented. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Blueberry smells like gross blueberry candy. This is limeade. Yep, it smells like key lime pie. Tinsel smells like mom perfume, honestly. Like, ooh, it smells like potpourri. What the heck? Uh, and it doesn't say that these are scented either, I don't think. Yeah, and then violet smells like, or violet syrup has a smell too. Why would you do that and not have it on your package? Because not everybody reads your blog. Why would you not have it on the package? Let's see. Here's blueberry, incredible ink. Nothing on the front. Nothing on this side. Nothing on this side. This would be where we do it, right? Anything on the bottom? Not for consumption. Do not ingest. Most art supplies say that. So that is not like a warning to us. And then the bottles don't say anything about it being scented. That's a mean trick. Because people like me, scented things like this make us sick. Like fake scents are nasty and give me a headache. That is a mean thing to do. What the heck? All right, well, I'm gonna let these dry. I'm curious to see if their water solubility changes um, with the addition of fragrance. So I guess we'll find that out in a few minutes too. So I've got a cup of clean water and I've got a synthetic brush. We're gonna do a little bit of swatch testing on these incredible inks and our mermaid markers. And for me, as someone who uses watercolor as pretty much my primary medium, and I use it pretty much every day, blendability is kind of important to me. Oh, okay, taupe isn't gonna go anywhere. Something I do think that's kind of neat about these is that um, unlike a lot of dye-based watercolor markers, the color kind of stays where it's put. So you're not going to have a lot of shifting if you wanna do layers. And you guys can see that firsthand in that mermaid video. So most of these inks stay pretty much where you put them after they've dried. Let's try these water-based smelly smell inks. I don't even buy scented fountain pen inks. I don't buy scented markers. I don't buy scented stickers. They are, at least in terms of the ones I bought, and some of them are still wet. So we'll try some of the dry and we'll try some of the wet. They seem to be very similar to the, um, to the mermaid markers, except that they have a smell and they're in bottles. Now here's a real interesting thing. Let's say you wanna use a lot of these inks. I really just thought these were like the mermaid inks in bottle form, which would just make them dye inks. I know I could just buy Jacquard dyes. I should just do that. Um, but they all have different scents and some of the scents are really strong and kind of gross. Like tinsel is kind of gross. It smells like cheap bathroom potpourri. 
um, and blueberry is kind of nauseating too. So if you use all of these together, you're gonna have an olfactory disaster on your hands, especially if you're sensitive to scents and sensitive to scents. And they don't even warn on the bottles that these have a smell. So um, I'm sure there are gonna be people who are interested in these who don't want scented whatever, or at least wanna know what they're getting into. Now, if you were using these with like the mermaid markers as like a scented accent, which might be what they're intended to be, I don't know, cause the bottle doesn't say, um, that wouldn't be so bad. The mermaid markers don't have a scent to them. It's just these things that have a scent to them. And it's, I, at first, when I first bought this, I couldn't tell if it was alcohol-based or water-based because it had a really strange smell. Did not smell like violets to me, and this is violet syrup. Downstairs in my pantry, I literally have a bottle of Monin violet syrup. Doesn't smell anything like this. Violets are my favorite flower. They don't smell like violet syrup, they don't smell like violet mints, and they don't smell like this either. So, <laughs> I know, kind of an intense reaction, but like, that's like putting, like peanuts in a cookie and selling it on the market and not saying you put peanuts in your cookie. There are people who are allergic to these things and it's going to negatively affect them. And in the case of peanuts, it's kind of an extreme analogy because people will die from that. I don't know that anyone's going to die from some stinky smelling inks, but it's still definitely something you want to know about. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, because these are scented, I'm not going to put any of them in these because I don't know how I'm going to handle them now because scented stuff is weird for me and I also don't know if I because if the scent dissipates after it dries well then it's not that big a deal I'll just deal with it but for some things as they dry the scent actually gets more intense so we're going to find out I can't even necessarily re-gift these because a lot of my friends are just as sensitive to scents as I am so again thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great day. I hope this information was helpful to you guys. In the mermaid marker pack, there is a, oh, what? There's like not even anything on the other side. Oh, I thought this was, so I thought they printed the yellow on it to be cute. No, this should have been my warning. This is the yellow that leaked. It was leaking in the package before I even bought it. And y'all saw me open it on camera. So, I put some silicon grease on it. I hope that helps prevent it from leaking. I hope you guys don't get leaky markers that are overpriced. Um, and it's a shame because I like the other mermaid markers. I mean, they're basically just dye-based water brushes. I mean, you could make the same with fountain pen ink and water brushes, um, maybe even for the same cost, depending on where you get your fountain pen ink from. And I've shown you guys how to do that on this video, but I mean, you guys know I am a weak woman and when it comes to art and craft supplies, I can't help myself. So who's surprised that I picked up a five pack of mermaid markers when they're not even necessary for my art. But hey, be careful. Don't get a leaky pack. You can't tell it's leaky, by the way, from the outside of the package. So there was no way I could have known that without opening the package in the store. So I guess just be careful because there's some faulty ones out there. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.